Tre, fyra. En tisdags kommt av en vän Vi åker till ett avvägsligt land Med hunden jag och mäng på skyn Vi har så roligt jämt Äventyrsdags Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Hello and oh, welcome everyone! There you go! Hello! <laughs> Luis is in the Hi. house! Everyone, holy shit, you guys have been asking for more Mel mornings and shit like that. We haven't done a Mel morning in a while, so we figured no. we would do an FAQ at least, you know, something uh, for the holiday season. And uh, this is our dog. Hey! In case you haven't seen hey. her before. In <laughs> in it looks like you, she wants something. Hey! She wants to up. jump up. Yeah, hop up. Hop up. So, oh, so, there you go. Hey. <laughs> it's a small chair, that's for sure. Okay, so uh, why haven't uh, we done a Mel Morning in a while? And why haven't you been in the show for well, a while? I've been quite busy. Holy shit, man. She's taking care of the biz. Yeah. Of the business right yeah. there. There are things to do. There's, there are things to do. You're taking care of our personnel. You're doing all the orders. Like, there's a lot of work. There is. And, uh, you know, there's not really that much time to do the Mel Mornings. And uh, the Mel Mornings take uh, t take a while to prepare a little bit. But we played this song in the beginning. It was, uh, <laughs> did you hear? Adventure Time. But yeah. it was in Swedish. Sorry, I only knew the Swedish we one. We only know the Swedish version. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just how it is. Anyways, it's an FAQ. Uh, we have some questions from you guys to us. And uh, let's see what this leads to. If you're a guitar player expecting guitar questions, uh, this is not going to be the video for you. Not today. So you guys are expecting gear and guitars, you can leave now. And that's just me being honest right there. <laughs> this is about us, I guess. Harmbacker. Hey, Ola and Luis. I have a question for Luis. Did you already listen to Mel before you met Ola, or did he introduce you to the genre? He could have, but didn't. I was actually into metal before we met. Yes. I was. That was kind of the part of that brought your attention. Yes. To me. Uh, I mean, we met at the uh, graduation party again after not seeing each other for a while. And, and you really made an impression on me because you knew about Mel and you, uh, you, you were singing Dream Fitter. Pull me under. I'm like, <laughs> okay. A hot tip for you guys. If you ever have a girl sing Pull Me Under or a Dream Fitter song for you, uh, it's, a it's, a, it's a taker. Th that's the lady you need right there. So she sang Pull Me Under for me and I was hooked basically mm. and uh, there was no escape. But then you started sending me mp3s. Oh, that, but that's legal, Ooh, Luis. No, uh, you sent uh, no, 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 no. Else. Uh, these were these were actual uh, uh, rips of my CDs. That you know, instead of bar lending you the CDs, <laughs> you know, it was rips from my. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go on. <laughs> you, you sent me music. Yes. And uh, so I started listening to other bands mm -hmm. that I hadn't heard before. Mm -hmm. Like Nevermore, Pinal Symphony Salvation, X, Pinal Symphony X. Yeah. Holy shit. A lot of stuff. I already knew Pantera and those stuff, but yeah. But then you got an overdose of Pantera you because I'm listening broadening. to Pantera all the time. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Briggs. Hi, Ola and Luis. Greetings from Norway. Question for Luis. If Ola's passion, YouTube channel, and even career surrounding guitars were the same, but for something even nerdier, like collecting stamps or something, would this float your boat? I met you before. You are something, <laughs> or what you, call it, mm -hmm. what you are today, mm -hmm. and I like you for who you, who you are. Mm -hmm. If I was producing stamps for a living, yeah, uh, you know, I have solar stamps. Yeah, and uh, you know, I would, would support you in that. Awesome, and then I had a stamp YouTube channel. Yeah, you know, just licking yeah. stamps all day. I mean, wouldn't you support me if I would of start course. doing that? Of course, I love stamps. <laughs> you know, it's uh, stamps are great. Remember stamps? No, do people use stamps? Yeah. They still yeah, yeah, they collect they, they them. Do. I was actually collecting stamps when I was a kid. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, there's always the other guy in in the class that has a way bigger stamp collection than you. Well, so it's like it, that, that that that's what sucks about collecting stuff. I did it for myself, but then there's an asshole in the class like, oh look, but look at my book. It's this fake, and mine's like this. <laughs> like okay. You they go. just quit. You just quit, exactly. Yeah. Carter Estelle, does Louise ever feel like your music takes over family time? How do you both stay present with each other and your family, but still keep your music goals? How do you compromise? The music is your job. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to spend your free time doing music. No. 
quite an easy answer. I don't have any music uh, equipment to do any music at home. Yeah, you I never have... play on the free time. No, I have one guitar at home and I rarely play it on my free time. I mean, I play more music on my free time because Absolutely. I play the ukulele. I mean, when I come home, I don't want to listen to music. No. Like, I, I, I listen to music here every day. So, uh, for, for, for me, that's easy. It was harder when we lived in the condo, in the yeah. apartment. Yeah. Because then, you know, I was just a room away from my job. But with the offices, it made it incredibly uh, clear that yeah. when I go home, there's And no I mean, music here left. at the office, you can play as much as you like. Yes. This, that's our income. Exactly. Exactly. So, so uh, no problem. It's actually For very us, easy. Very easy. I mean, it's harder if you have a, another job and then spend your free time making music. Yes. Yes. That, that was how it was before. Because you love it so much, it's easy to do it on your free time. Now I'm very privileged to be able to do it on work time. And yeah. uh, you know, everything becomes a job, in a way. Yeah. So, but and it's not uh, dance band music. No, like, I, I don't uh, have to write music. shitty music, which is good. <laughs> I write the music that I want. Sometimes, I, it still becomes a job, but I still have to, you know, pull myself back and be like, you know, this is this is a privilege. This is something that not everyone can do. Yeah. So I'm very, very proud and happy that I can actually do this for a living. Nick Shearer, 8166. Hey, Ola and Louise, what is it like having your siblings work for you now? Yeah, how, how is that? It's terrible. No, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's good, man. I mean, I feel that my siblings are, uh, are people that, you know, I love and fully trust, just like you. Yeah. And, you know, uh, some say that you don't want to work with family. I say it's perfectly fine as long as your family is sane. <laughs> if it goes bad for us, we're bo both in the same boat. That's a problem. It's risky in that sense yeah. that we all work here. But, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't change it for the world because, you know, I can trust my family to to know what's the like best for the interest of what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, our, our siblings are honest with us. Yes. If there's something they have on their mm -hmm. minds. And as you said, you can fully trust our Absolutely. Siblings. And, you know, it's not going to trample on any toes because, you know, it's it's blood. You, you, you can't yeah. really, they're just going to be honest. And they are going to do their very best to, uh, for this company. Yeah, I think so too. They would never screw us over. No, 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 like. no, no, exactly. It, it's, e it's just easier with family. I like it, I also like it because it's a family business then. Yeah. Snorre Soppanson, sex English. Is Ola's wang pleasurable? I knew there would be uh, awkward questions. Something, yeah. Do you really want to know? People really want to know. Do you really want to know? People really okay, want let me tell you like this. We have two kids. So we had sex twice. We have produced <laughs> Great. two Great! <kids laughs> and we're still together after 20 years plus. So that's an answer. That doesn't say anything, but let's go. Ola and Louise question. My wife and myself are now together for 20 years and then we have two sons. Oh, 11 and 8 years old. Uh, so pretty uh, similar Almost to the, same, the situation. that we have a daughter. Yes, exactly. And we're still happy together because my wife is simply the best friend that someone can have. Aww. What's your secret to your relationship? Because we think you two are also very happy together. Greetings from Germany. It's the wag. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, um, I think you need to accept that uh, you're not the same person, that you are going to evolve during times. Yes. And you need to be okay with that. You are changing and I am changing. But we're changing together, like, yes. and we kind of grow into each other. And I think you, you cannot really do anything about if you if you grow together or apart. Yes. That's just how it is. Yes. You can be lucky if you grow together, mm -hmm. but you cannot really. The, that's like, also. I mean, I guess you can't control it. It just depends on the person. So yeah. we were probably pretty lucky, I would say. Yeah. I, I feel lucky. But also being friends is also obviously very important. We have to, you have to be able to enjoy the, the company yeah. together. Yeah. I mean, 20 years is a lot. Yeah. And I mean, we, we even, you know, work together now. So we have both the free time and mm. the office time together, even though I sit in my room and, you know, you sit in the other room. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's very... But you have, have to give each other space to, to do other stuff. Of course. Uh, what can we say uh, to Zoom 3232? Uh, you're very lucky and uh, congrats on having a lucky marriage or having a, a great marriage. Sorry. Vulgard display of power. Hi, Louise. How is it to be second best now the pixie got in your life? Have you thought of having your own dog someday? Ah, but th uh, this is our dog. 
Le let me tell you like this. I'm the owner of the dog. Mm -hmm. I'm the one walking her. The most. Uh, the I, most. I play with her. Yeah, outside. you play with her sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I go out with her two or three times a day yep. on real wa walks. Yep. I cut her nails. I take care of her. Uh, she's a family dog, but it's... Luis is taking uh, it's my dog. the most uh, care of, <laughs> of pigs. And, uh, I, I would probably say in terms of the walks, I'm probably like uh, 20%. Yeah, of the walking something like that. and uh, Luis is like 80. Uh, yeah. When I go out with pigs, it's mostly for uh, I'm pretty harsh toileting <laughs> for, for toileting or playing. Yeah. And uh, I, I like to practice uh, the pigs with playing yeah. because she's very she likes a ball like all dogs. And I'm do. really bad at throwing balls. Yes. And uh, really I'm, bad. I'm really good with balls. But uh, <laughs> I, I keep on, um, you know, it's just a, a form of practice and training for her. So, yeah. so you know, I can tell her where to go and fetch the ball and, and so on and so forth. So, but it's definitely more of Louise's dog, for sure. And uh, even though it seems that, you know... <laughs> she loves you. Yeah, she loves She loves all the family. Yes, she loves everyone in the family. And, and they, at the office. Even the chair. She's licking the chair, so she loves the chair. <laughs> Oilet, hello. Do you sometimes do role play as, as a boss having an affair with her employee? <laughs> no. No, exactly. No. We don't do role play. And also, I oh shit, is she oh my god, she skipped the questions. Okay, there it is. She's like, be finished. Uh, all right, Luis, what did Ola do that got your attention? How is he off camera? It was kind of not love at first sight. <laughs> it's not much love to. Uh, that's not much sight to love. <laughs> In the beginning. You grew on me. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, uh, off camera and on camera. I think when you're on camera, it's you need to be interesting and fun and energetic. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case in 100% of time that you live. You're not always happy and energetic no. and uh, like... No, no, no. I mean, you can't be 110% uh, all the time. No. There needs to be downtime. No. But on video, you cannot be like boring or... No, no, no. Uh, it's... Mellow. Can you say that it's me like all the time, but cranked? Yeah. So yeah. it's it's the same. Definitely, definitely. That's good that it's the same. That, and a little bit of censored too. Oh, I have to. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of you course. cannot say anything on video because to offend people. Yes. We don't want to do that. I, I sometimes I want to offend people, but I, I, I be, <laughs> I'm being very political about it. But then you like edit it. Out. Then you take it out. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Giancarlo, you seem like very different people. What do you have in common? You think we're very different people? I don't think so. I don't think so either, except that you play guitars and music and stuff. That's... And you're beautiful and I'm not as beautiful. <laughs> you're also beautiful. Oh, like. stop it. Uh, no, no, but... I, I think we're kind of... I, th I, I think a lot of people probably see you and they see another league in another way, I would say, maybe. No, what do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't know. I think people people probably consider me being lucky, and obviously I am very lucky to have you, and uh, you know that that it's uh, that it, uh, maybe you are. So a I'm bit. not ha lucky to have you. No, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. No, but obviously that uh, I, I think that's a compliment. They think that you're beautiful, which uh, you know I agree. You are very beautiful. Did you uh, interpret that? To me being beautiful. I don't know. They're saying we're different. I, I mean, they know who I am because I'm on camera all the time. Yeah. But they, they don't really know you as well. No. As I think also one thing is that you're very used to being on camera. Mm. I'm not really used yeah. to being on camera. And, and speaking English for that matter. I'm not very used to speak English. Mm. And I'm not as fast in speaking English as I am in Swedish. Mm. And I think, I think myself that I am more fun in Swedish. Yes. I am more like um, outgoing, mm -hmm. and if you meet people that you don't know, yeah. I have a much um, you're, easier time. You're very outgoing. Being funny with yes. people that I don't know mm -hmm. if they are Swedish. Mm -hmm. In that sense, you are very different from me because I yeah. don't like people. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I do like people, but I'm not not as outgoing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know if that that's just you know more socially awkward. Probably. Yeah, yeah. In general. But you cannot see that on video. No, because I'm with myself. Because here you're more of the outgoing one on video, and I'm maybe more yeah, of yeah. the. So there's calm a little one. shift there, maybe. Yeah. In the real life and the video. Yeah, life, yeah. I, I guess. Well. But that's fine. Yeah. Chaos, dude. When Ola stinks, how stinky do you allow him to be? Is the sweet musk allure true? <laughs> 
Okay, to be fair, Ola is not a very stinky person. Just whoosh. I, I smell sweat more than he does. And also because I'm more of an active uh, person, yes. I go out with a dog several times a day. I do get sweaty. So, no. And I think you can feel it yourself before I do. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, sure. now it's really time to have a shower. <laughs> like it's... Uh, I'm, I'm very lucky. I don't sweat that much. No. It's I great. I don't have like sweaty palms or like, yeah. fine, if I play a lot of guitar or work out, I get sweaty palms. But, you know, not compared to a lot of other guitar yeah. players that are melting away guitar strings, yeah. for instance, or like finishes on their guitar. You know, I can, I don't. It's it's great. I don't know what the uh, f happened. It's but, just uh, how you are. It's just how I am. It's great. And, you know, and I'm lucky. sometimes <laughs> I, I don't even smell like, you know, that. pig underneath the arms. It's like, okay, oh, it's a little... You know, it, sounds, it smells like man a little bit, I guess. Yeah. But that's it. It doesn't, like, it's not disgusting. No. Fucking, uh, fucking great. So I, I'm lucky there. Yes. I'm the lucky one there. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you get a sweaty wife. Yes. <laughs> that was it. That was the last question. Yeah. How, how did I feel? It's good. Yeah. It's good. This is the first time I film in this room, too. Like this. Yeah. yeah. How, how, how are you guys liking it? This Does is it my look good? This is the office, nice. by the way. And uh, the uh, general idea was that I would film more in here, but I haven't. Yeah. Uh, but this is where I sit and work. I live stream here, too. Uh, a good clean room. It is a good clean room. Why, because why it's I... not so much stuff in here, it's kind of just... Yeah, but I guess it doesn't it really go really nice. work for gear videos and shit like that. Yeah. It's very... maybe for the corporate videos. I mean, the other room, you have stuff everywhere. Yeah. Like a lot of guitars yes. and stuff like that. But here it's like, yeah, it's, it's clean. It's nice. Clean. Like a big table and I have like my the cart is there. Did people see the cart? Maybe I hope people saw the cart. I love yeah. my cart so much. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see the reaction of this. Maybe we'll do more and uh, more often because that's the problem too. And maybe we'll get a Mel Morning going as well. We will yeah. we'll just have to see yeah. about that. So uh, thank you so much for <laughs> watching. If you want to support what we do, you can go to oldanglandshop.com and get a t-shirt. Uh, you can also like and subscribe this video and uh, make us work, man. Make us work. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.